Welcome back traders, Ali Casey here from Star Oasis channel. Today's video is about workflow, how we can automate workflow in Strategy Quant X. Actually, this is one of the best features in SQX and that's what convert me to use SQX because you can automate your whole workflow from building to filtering, testing robustness, testing, uh, saving the files and redo other projects. All that can be automated inside SQX. So let's jump in. Welcome back traders, Ali Casey here from Star Oasis channel. Uh, like I mentioned in the intro, we will build a custom project in SQX. But before we start, I would like to ask you to smash, break, kick the hell out of the like button as this will help Google push the video to other traders and it will help the channel grow and I really appreciate that. Of course, if you like the content I'm producing, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded to the channel. Now that's out of the way, let's start. So on SQX, we will go to custom projects, create new, and let's build this on uh, ES, mean reversion, let's create one. And we start building a simple task, which is build strategies. And we will build that on the uh, using a mean reversion template to make things easier. Create station, ES daily, and we will put the the strategies and result disabling all robustness testing. We'll go to full data. Let's put this down. I will do only longs because mean reversion on ES is good for longs, and then only one exit signal. And I will not use stop loss, uh, that is not uh, good for mere reversion strategies usually, but uh, profit target is good usually. So let's do that. Basically, we want to make things easier, we want to be profitable quickly, and then we can worry about uh, complicating things for ourselves. So let's do that, January, and I will do till end of 15. And we will do the multiple in sample out of sample that will give us the most exposure to market regimes. In trading options, we need to do one trade per day. We will not exit on Friday. Building blocks not touch. Money management is one. And then we're not doing cross checking and ranking. We'll do net profit and out of trades. And here I will do something. I'll teach you something really good. So number of trades. Net profit, and then number of trades, net profit, and we need to do out of sample, out of sample. Here now we can do out of uh, in sample, sorry, and a percentage. So we will do, let's say, 75, and again, in sample percentage, 75. So to, what we are asking uh, SQX to do is uh, the let's look for $2,500 profitable strategies with a minimum of 150 trades in the in-sample. And the out-of-sample just give me 75% of the in-sample. Basically, it's a little bit looser restrictions on the out-of-sample. Now that's done, then we go to the next. This is building. Once it's built a thousand strategies in this data bank, it will go to the next uh, next uh, task. Next task, we will copy the configuration from here. We do retest. And now we will put the strategies in a different data bank. So we need to create that data bank. And let's do now ES. And let's say we are doing Monte Carlo. So we will put the result in ES Monte Carlo. And everything was copied, but this time we will do till end of 2017. We added two more years that the data didn't see. And there is no more in sample, out of sample. Oh, and by the way, so we need to add commission here. I forgot to add that. So $10 per trade. That should include commission and slippage for the ES. 
okay so we will uh, put results in MC same everything from before because we copied the configuration except now we will do a Monte Carlo and we will remove all the filters we will just add this delete so the strategies that doesn't pass the filter will be deleted not deleted basically they will not move to this new data bank so on cross check let's do Monte Carlo and we will do just the simple we'll do a thousand test and I'll use just everything as the default once that's done strategies move to Monte Carlo let's assume that this is what I want excellent now of course you can do everything but let's say that's what I want then I will add a new task and this time I will again retest now I'm copying from the retest strategies and I will do a retest and let's rename this to make it easier to read so this is a retest MC and this one is retest let's say full so retest full now will take all the strategies from MC and we need to put it in a new data bank and this one let's say that one has the full data and so we come here full data so we'll take all the strategies from MC and we'll put it in full data and this time we're not doing MC we're not doing any uh, cross checks this time we're taking all these strategies and again uh, we're asking for a uh, a profitable now for the full and now it's just a number and let's say it's 5000 and it's for the full it's 250 trades so now I'm um, they uh, testing on all data available and let's push this now to 20 uh, 2019 so now I added another year and this time I want them to pass uh, the $5,000 now I'll put it so I want them to pass net profit as $5,000 and 250 uh, for the number of trades and that's it no cross check and let's assume this is done now I want to save those strategies so we will go to uh, save files and we will save the results from the last one we will not overwrite existing files because we will repeat this it's an SQX format and let's push this down and we will use symbol and time frame uh, we will put uh, all the data in uh, we can export the data in Excel uh, SX that's for a portfolio I'm not going to do that and I'm going to keep I'm not going to save the data source I'm going to keep everything in X SQX for now once this is done I will add a go to task to repeat so let's go that uh, let's do that go to and this time we will go to the beginning which is build strategies so now if I run this this will keep repeating itself and then the data bank will be full so I need to make sure that I am cleaning the data bank and usually I add this to the beginning I just didn't want you to get confused in the beginning but usually it's best practice to clean everything uh, when you launch when you start the project so clear data banks and here we can pick each data bank and we can increment that or we can just do clear all data banks of course this will happen after all the files uh, get uh, so we can move this uh, so start with clear data bank build retest 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 save the files and then go to task now we need to change it to go back to clear data bank now in order to test this I'm gonna do a simple test so I need in the beginning to go to build strategies and let's make sure that we're doing only let's say let's say 30 
I want to test it to see if it's working or not. And okay, everything you do is saved already. You don't need, there's no save button. And now we can, uh, we can click on this. We can go to progress, click start, or you can click on the gear icon and say, start run project from here. There is an error and it is the stop loss. Oh, because I didn't move the stop loss. See, that's why you do the testing. So we go back to uh, build. And here, because the stop loss is not required, we need to make sure that here it's not picked. So the only profit target is required. Uh, exit after bars, exit rule, it's an optional thing. Let's go back here. Let's run this time. Another error, which is uh, save to files, cannot load, save to file settings. Let's go to save to files. Oh, we need to uh, assign the, uh, the place. So I select, this is the workflow test. And let's start again. Now it's working. Good. So now we should have 30 strategies and then it should move to Monte Carlo and then to full. And actually let me move this to the right. So it's uh, like sequential. So it's running Monte Carlo. I already have two passed and then nothing passed here. And then we're back again, 30 strategies going to Monte Carlo and it's repeating. So everything's working. Let me stop it. And now we can, th this project, like I said, is saved. I don't need to worry about this because every time I'm going to run it, it's going to wipe everything out. And now let me go back to build strategies and set the number again to a thousand. And like I said, there's no save options already saved. And we go to custom projects now, and this is the project. And now this project is for ES. I can duplicate this. Let's clone this custom project. And this time, we will, uh, let's rename it to YM. So when I, now I need to change this to YM. I remember the new feature was you can change this for everybody. I forgot. Uh, it should be somewhere. In any case, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, so YM, basically what I'm doing now, you should be able to change all of it at once. That's the new feature in 131 but I'm running 130 here, so it's not here. So that's done. And now I'm gonna show you something interesting. So, okay, now I have the ES and YM, I can run it, I can run both of them or run each separately. But now let's do something interesting. Click on this again and add a new task, or actually go back here, add in a condition. So add a new condition. And the number of project runtime is lower than uh, let's say 12 hours oh, sorry so right now as long as the uh, run time is lower than 12 hours we will always go back to clear data bank so now you have es and ema and you can run now uh, the project from this button and actually you can click on result and see what's happening And we can see that it's running. Now, of course, it's going to build a thousand and it's going to keep repeating for 12 hours. Great, you made it to the end of the video. I know it was long, but you know, this is really just touching the, the tip of the iceberg. Really, uh, it's a very, very powerful feature inside X SQX. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please do share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so Google Algos can push it to other traders. And this will help the channel to grow. As usual, stay safe. Good luck with your trading. Good luck with your investing. And I'll see you soon.